Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins that our bodies use to identify and neutralize foreign or malicious intruders such as bacteria, viruses and tumor cells. They work by recognizing one particular region of their target called an antigen. Once they bind to the antigen, they recruit special cells, which are part of the immune system, who take care of eliminating the enemy. The antigen can be a protein on the surface of a bug or a cancer cell, or anything else that is considered foreign, suspect or threatening to your body. When this offender is causing a disease and the antibody is designed and produced specifically to target it, then you have a therapeutic antibody. The design and production of therapeutic antibodies is not trivial. An antibody has to interact with the target antigen, but it also has to be recognized by the immune system as a legitimate messenger. Today, therapeutic antibodies are produced in yeasts, bacteria or special cell lines, starting from genetic information from humans, rodents or rabbits. There are many cool biotechnology tricks to make synthetic antibodies acceptable to your bodies. One important aspect to consider is that nature modifies antibodies in specific ways after they are produced, the so-called post-translational modification. And when it comes to recognizing its own, nature can be as finicky as a five-year-old who wants dresses to be pink, knee-long with silver trimmings, blue candy-shaped buttons and dinosaur prints. And like every child, it loves sugar. Sugar is good for many things, but that is not the point now. At the molecular level, common sugar is made of two pieces which are joined to form a so-called disaccharide. There are many different types of sugars which can be joined in different linear or branched ways to form both simple and complex structures collectively called carbohydrates, a term you may know from diet plans. After they are born, natural human antibodies get decorated in a very specific way with carbohydrates, a process called glycosylation. Getting the sugar pattern just right is very important for the antibody to be acknowledged by the human immune system. At the roche pires Center in Schlieren, Switzerland, we have developed a technique that allows us to control the antibody glycosylation step in an efficient and precise way. We call the resulting antibodies glycomaps, glyco-engineered monoclonal antibodies. These have higher ability to recruit cells of the immune system. They are even more appealing to these cells than natural antibodies. This makes them potentially much more effective than traditional biologics in targeting and destroying malicious invaders. The first step towards a potential medicine. A sweet perspective for therapeutic antibodies.